It's the dark skin same as my neighbor. Oh, like me. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Hey man, y'all see what we got out here today, man? CJ the champ just dropping another bang on our ass, man. Yes, we a little late too, but we, it's never too late as long as we do. You feel me? Yeah. So today we got what's that? Hero Shigi. You know she got me. She, she, she got, got, me. got me. Anime daily is serious. She, she got me. I ain't gonna lie, buddy. I gotta put me on some new anime, man. I feel like all the shit I be watching, I not really hitting like that, bro. I need some. Why shit. does the hero she, she got me kind of sound like some something from like fucking Jujutsu Kaisen type? She, she got me. Yeah, yeah. that sound like Death Note. Shige. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, What's yeah. that nigga called She got me or whatever. Yeah, she got me. Oh, she got me. She got me. Okay. Hey, man. But anyway, man, we gonna go ahead and check this out, bro. Let's get right to it. Let's get to it. It's a different anime. Yeah. Anime Daily is serious. Brother six. Brother six. Oh, shit. Clear dog. So, Silton said to bust to the house and just shoot to kill. The grandma got unloaded on. God damn. Yeah, that's crazy. Off, and they just what? See, this look like it might be tough. I'm that five star wanted level. I'm about to already find the anime I'm looking for. You should look for it. They just clap that nigga grandma, bro. <laughs> they clap everybody in that bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'ma just be honest with y'all. Out of the three to four years I've been doing this, I have never seen someone or something like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a disclaimer right now. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are about to witness is one of the This nigga named him is Inspector Kushima. So <laughs> a lot of bodies will drop in this video. A lot more than usual. So y'all are probably wondering, I right, CJ, who is this? Cause you acting like he's the second coming of Satan. Well, you wouldn't be far off. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, the robo finger banger himself, Hero Shishigami. Now, how this will finger work, banger. it'll technically be like a trial, be sure but with his a finger? lot more simpler. Cause all we need with this is just a simple kill count. Cause with all the victims you are about to see, this is gonna be the only way to keep up with this man's actions. So I got my calculator. I hope you got yours too. Cause without further ado, Let's get this a. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Now, to understand the killer of this investigation, we first must understand, well, who is this guy? Ladies and gentlemen, meet Hiro Shishigami, 17 year old high school student. Now, off the rip, you first look at him. <laughs> This generic ass anime been looking like a run of the mill isekai protagonist. Ain't no way in hell bro could even hurt a fly. I mean, look at him. Bro's at his friend's house reading One Piece, glazing the fuck out of Oda. Oh, my glorious king Oda, this chapter this week was amazing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this man right here is a prime example of don't judge a book by its cover. Over. So he's at his friend's house to check up on him because bro's been getting bullied lately. So he tells him, hey man, I know what to cheer you up. Come outside real quick. So he takes this man outside. And bro says, you see them crows, my boy? Eat this. This man makes his hand a gun and goes, Bump! And straight up snipes the crow out of the air! Like, bro, that poor crow! Oh, he was just chilling, enjoying his day and got sniped! I know Peter watching this just puking in their mouth right now. Bro's first victim was an innocent crow. So now I know you're well, wondering, you what the hell is going on and what the hell is he? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this man right here is Cyborg. What? But what Japanese. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> so this gets wacky, so bear with me. So one yeah, night, damn. this man ended up getting e involved in a hit and run with some aliens. What? Yes, I'm not joking. Him and the old ass man, who's the main character, got ran over by a UFO. So, so this the aliens like... obviously felt guilty. They was like. <laughs> <laughs> so they ended up restoring them and basically making them terminators. But you see, this is not all he can do though. Next, they go to their local Best Buy to probably get scammed on an overpriced TV. But Hero said, Hell nah, I ain't about to get scammed by these niggas. So Bro puts his hand on the TV and switches the channel to uh something I cannot show. You know what? Play the jingle. Okay. This nigga put. Mm -hmm. And he put it on every single TV in the store. So this man is not just a well, turban. He is yeah, bro. Yeah. Put the hint on. This right here is his best perk because he can go to any ATM and take out as much money as he wants. Oh my oh, boy, god. I'll tell you if I had this shit, you know. <laughs> but, anyways, this is where we start to see how psychotic Hero actually is. So, after is that, that story, that, bro? Hero tells his friend, Yo, man, you want to see something really cool? So they go to the side of the street and this motherfucker becomes Mozart. 
This man starts talking What the fuck? God. Nah, this is fine, but I ain't gonna lie. And look at him just standing here admiring the chaotic art he just created. And they just walk away like it's nothing, and he's like, Did you enjoy my chaotic masterpiece, my friend? Like, it was so bad, his best friend even started to question him. I was hoping that he gonna try to kill him. But now, ladies and gentlemen, this is where the investigation really starts. So prepare yourself. So later on that night, this man is outside playing Ring Around the Rosie by himself, and lands on this house and says, You're it. So this man walks inside the house and has the audacity to say, I'm home. But then the lady turn around and look at him like, Bruh, don't oh, tell excuse me. me, baby, you in the wrong house. The wrong house? Don't tell nah, me. Nah, you in the wrong house. Nigga. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Shoot this lady in the chest. That nigga said you in the wrong house. Now look at him, bro. He wasn't done. He goes over to her body and just starts shooting her body. The holes in her. Like, bro, she's already dead. Stop. She ain't getting up. But you see, bro, Look at this thing over here, good guy. got his high off. Bro is about to clear the whole house. Next, he goes to the bathroom and finds the dad oh, playing yeah, with his son. So obviously, the dad's like, ah, who, who are you? Papa, who is that? Honey, uh, Bob, uh, who, who the hell is this? Oh, shut up, nigga. So, bro tries to shield his kid. The hero just shoots him in the back. So then the dad asks, where, where, where's my wife? Oh, she's just downstairs. Oh, thank God. With four holes in her back and one in her chest. <laughs> so the dad begs her hero to spare his son. And this man coldly says with no emotion, nah, the kid dies too. So then he pulls the dad in the head. And the kid, yeah, that little nigga drowned in the tub. And look at this girl. Bro says, oh, Nick, what the I fuck? feel alive. That's the high I needed. Oh. oh, but you thought he was done? Oh, no. Now we get to the most infamous part the main of this character that's a villain? So the daughter comes home and just sees her mom's lifeless body on the floor. So she backs up and this oh nigga's just God. standing right here. So bro says, take a seat. I want to see if you know ball. So he makes her sit down on these stairs, puts the gun right in front of her head, and asks her, and I'm not joking, real dialogue, what kind of manga do you read? I beg your pardon? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What kind of manga do you read? One piece of attack on top. What piece? Oh, you know ball. Real quick, though. Gun to the back of your head and ain't five One Piece characters. <laughs> Zoro. Uh-huh. names and shit. I ain't gonna lie, you know who bro remind me of? The niggas that got the Smash Bros cut. <laughs> like a girl watches anime and then they start giving them a oh, whole yeah, last examination cut. quiz and they wonder why they get no hoes. So after bro quizzes her, he starts to rub up on her and starts to hit her with that psychotic nigga riz and just cuts her hand open. So she starts screaming and running for her life. But sadly for her, her speed attribute was lacking. So bro kills her. And just like that, the what the fuck going on, bro? Family. Like, this is a different type of level. <laughs> like, I know I've done multiple characters in the past, but this? Murdering a whole family nah. of four in cold blood is wild. But we'll come back to the suburban family incidents in a minute. Because next, we need to move on to the I mean, Ken Boo, so he, guy, he did the whole world. Nigga, he nigga did planets. Has been skipping oh, school lately because he's been getting bullied. But Hero told him, don't worry about it, goody old pal. I'll deal with those bullies for you. So the next day at school, the bullies see that his friend Ando is back in class. But this so nigga's a man character, right? Ass this nigga. I so bully so. number one slams his hand on the table. And here he come with his sorry ass roast. Hey, buddy, we haven't seen you at school. Lately, but do you know who also hasn't been at school lately? My mom! <laughs> yeah! They have to jump, pussy! So Bro tries to grab him, but Hero ends up stopping him, and everybody in the class is stunned. They like, oh nah, little nigga playing with his life! So bully number one looks at him and says, Wow, you've got balls, kid, but do you know who's also got balls? My mom! But Hero was not fucking with Muscle Man. Bro grabs his wrist and starts crushing it. And look at him, he like, oh god, who's this strong ass nigga? <laughs> and then Hero says, what's my name, nigga? <laughs> what's my motherfucking name, nigga? 
Now quit fuck with my bro, fuck nigga. Fuck out my face. So hero ends up dealing with the bullies and they take the walk of shame. But do you think he's gonna let them off? Oh, I'm about to so he don't pop me. So at the end of the day, they go to the roof. And hero ends up spotting the bullies walking with the hub. Let me find out niggas sniper, bro. Oh my god. Watch this. And this man says the phrase four times. And Endo ends up spotting them. And them boys done got boom right in front of the hoes. I mean, what? Yo, this nigga, yo, this guy. Damn, this nigga is, this nigga is serious. Class, then they get sniped in broad daylight right in front of they hoes. Nah, I'm not gonna lie, that is embarrassing. That might be one of the worst ways I've ever seen somebody go out. So obviously, the witness to this murder, his best friend, is officially on skates with bro now. Blood was like, to be honest with you, I can't put you no more, my bro. So oh, here I was shit. like, okay, just make sure you keep on going to school. And just like that, the high school bullies case comes to a close. But like I said earlier, we're not done with the suburban families incident. Because obviously, it states families, not just family. So while this man is walking home, he just stops for a second. And I'll be honest with you, I'm actually going to have to play this scene. Because you have to hear the audio to understand what happens. So, roll the clip. It's a dog bug. Stop. Stop. As we clearly heard, this nigga just murdered a dog. Are we not done yet? Keep the clip rolling. The baby. This nigga just killed a mother and grandpa and a baby. Yo, what the fuck? But bro wasn't done. While he's walking away, he sees these two kids running past him. And bro turns around, points his finger at him, and said in his head, Man, fuck them kids, bro. <laughs> oh, this nigga is... Nah, bro, what this the is fuck? some lethal shit. Now time shit. for case three, the media massacre and the discord mods. Now there are a couple plot points that we have to go no before we dive into this case. And there are two people who are very important no way, to this bro. case. And that is none other than his mama and his daddy. Now, Hero's parents are split. The mama is in the trenches. And the dad, that nigga living his best life. Bro got a whole different family. New wife, new kids. Nice ass crib. This nigga got the top my life. <laughs> you wanna know what makes this so much worse? This man's mama get diagnosed with cancer, bro. But wild shit. This man hero ends up figuring out that he can cure all diseases. Nigga, yes, what? this man has evolved again from fuck? Terminator to Hacker to Walking Med Kit. This man can <laughs> literally God. cure anything. From the 19 to Ebola. It don't matter if bro can fix it. Bro, and after he cures his mom, bro starts robbing the ATMs <laughs> again and moves around the hood. So life seems bro. to be going great for hero. Bro done bro. moved his mama to bro. a new crib and he's got a bro. solid infinite How have chance? But if all good things a robot, come man. to an end. So obviously the multiple suburban family murders he committed, yeah, that's national news now. And there's a massive manhunt going on looking for the killer, to which we know who that already is. And while he's watching the news with his mom, he what she says right here. Oh Lord have mercy, this is terrible. I'd like to meet the parents that would raise such a child. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon. I have some terrible news for you. You go on to jail. <laughs> so the next day, they get a knock on the door, and y'all already know oh, who it is. Oh my god. Oh, coming for So this man is surrounded, and they ain't playing no games with this nigga. They jumping his ass right in front of his mama. They hitting him with that signature <laughs> pop yo. Get the fuck up the girl! And look at his mama, bro. She is devastated. God, my nigga. Why? Nah, this is a good ass anime. I don't want my to watch it. Yeah, I don't want my to watch it. Yeah, I don't want my to watch Just run for his life. And just like that, this man's life is over. Bro is the most wanted man in Japan. Oh, Most that's media weird. outlets got him listed everywhere. That's so while weird. this man is on the run, that's some he ends shit, up bro. meeting the most important character in this entire case. His accomplice, Shion. Now, the reason why she's the most important character is something that we'll learn later. But right now, just know that she is sheltering Hero, which is illegal as fuck. And the reason why she's sheltering Hero? You probably guessed it. She's deeply in love with this motherfucker. 
Now, with all of our people of interest explained, now it's time to focus on the first catastrophe, the media massacre. So late one night, Hero's watching the news, and he sees his mother being bombarded by media and just being harassed online. <laughs> like, Twitter is cooking her shit right now. It got so bad. Discord mods was on some SS Snipe Wolf timing. They doxed her. And this all ended up leading up to his mother offing herself. Damn. And this right here was the beginning of the crash out. Uh -oh. So the next day, Hero's dad is getting <laughs> bombarded about the by the media. So this man Hero pulls up to his dad's house. It just went and ripped. Bro just started murdering everybody right in front of his dad. And look at this man. Now he got a whole class set up. Bro got a primary weapon now. And he just kept on spraying and praying until nobody <laughs> else was breathing. And that nigga, is nigga. I thought this nigga could only do this, nigga. This nigga got a fucking AR, AR bucket. Bro, he just what is he shooting? Like, nah, he got all kinds of ammo. We saw the sniper because he was sniping, nigga. He got the pistol shot. No, but what is coming out of that nigga shit? Like, what is know. actually coming out? I mean, he a robot, though. Some demonic ass bullets. He a robot, so he got he. he he don't oh. reload, no nothing, but bro. bro, this nigga's a menace, bro. Nah, bro. he got a UAV already. He got an airstrike at this point. Nobody else was breathing. Airstrike, nigga. This nigga got swarmed, nigga. <laughs> close to a nuke. That nigga close to a nuke. <laughs> in 30 seconds. Oh, never mind. 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 Never mind.
paralyzed people and just overall doing good deeds. Okay. It was a miracle. So this man was in uh, hiding for a He's going to die. Living with the only light he had in life, his sunshine. But what happens yeah, bro, when you take that light away? Oh, well, ask the police department. Oh, that's the beginning. Oh, six. Oh, oh my God. God. Dog. So SEAL Team 6 busted in the house and just shook to kill. The grandma got unloaded on, shorty got dropped off, and they just started dumping mags in here. Apparently, oh, Bruce did not escape that five-star wanted level. So Bro has to blow a hole in the house to make his escape and just squad wipe the whole SWAT team. So after this, you just see this man just tearing up, oh, just shit. devastated. Now, they're not dead because of his healing factors and shit, but this all led up to- Excuse? Me? This is literally the biggest crash out Wait, in what? anime history. He, not so he, he can heal niggas like, like that? So later that he can, night, he can, he okay, I get he can cure cancer, part. but he has healing factors but to keep niggas, niggas alive. <sighs> like, they got loaded up on, but he basically healed them niggas and kept them alive. So they wasn't fully dead? And they weren't dead, bro. But I said, could he just save his mom? I think you did mention that he couldn't save his mom because he was... She was fully dead? No, wasn't he locked up? Um, he was captured, right? Oh, I think he was, yeah, he was like in a... Yeah, he was captured and then the mom... Just well, he wasn't captured, officer. he was like under the shelter of the girl that just got boomed. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, you're right. Wait, so this can he bring niggas back to life or like them niggas have to be like... Damn near your dead, and then he bring him back. Well, something. he is evolving too. I think around that time where his mom offed himself, herself, he oh, couldn't yeah, do that yeah, shit. Yeah. I don't know. With a hood over his head, looks at the security guard guarding the front door. Look, I can't get to the police. The head, and you just hear shots and screams from the outside as this man yes. is just mauling his way through the hallways, doing his best Anakin Skywalker impersonation. Like, you cannot tell me this nigga does not look like Anakin when he slaughtered the younglings. And for right now, I don't even want you to focus on the kill count this entire segment, because we're actually gonna get a precise number at the end of this. So now we focus on these two agents, as they find Hero just standing here menacingly. And bro right here wasn't playing no games, he straight up said, suck my dick, nigga! So he booms Hero in the oh, head, shit. and a bunch of other dudes pop out of cover and just start booming so after they dump all the ammo in them, they like, Ugh, sir, I think we got him. Hoorah, motherfucker. But sadly, them boys were shooting BB guns. So this man here on face playing dead gets a triple kill strike headshots. And the one agent runs at him to try to tackle him. But they got Derrick Henry stiff on him and just put the gun to his head and said, yeah. Gun to the front of your head named five One Piece characters, not nah, straw hats. Rook. Rook. No. So after he just annihilated everybody in here, insane. the last dude asks, what do you want and why are you doing this? And Hero tells him, well, you were going to come after me anyways, right? So I decided to save you the trip. And shoots him in the leg. So this man leaves him alive and says, I want you to witness me wipe out the entire police force in a night. So after this, bro walks outside, and the whole SWAT team is here to greet him. Mans is surrounded, so bro starts walking out, and the sniper's already got his ass in sight. So one of them takes a shot and sends him flying, and the whole team moves in and just starts shooting. But it was not going to be that easy. These niggas was going against the Decepticon, so they finally oh pin him Oh down. yeah, I forgot, he is like a, yeah, he's a boss. He's like he's part he's alien like, now, so yeah. it's like their technology he's isn't going to do shit to them. To him. He's like an alien, bro. So it's like... Oh yeah, yeah he's, he's an alien. He's too. I just realized that. And every single cop, detective, and SWAT team member got annihilated, and then Bro's body just fell down on the car. So the last two detectives that somehow survived just started shooting Bro, making him look crazy in the screen, looking like he getting head from Tiana Trump. And after they run out of ammo, Bro just looks at him and just gets the easiest double kill of his life. And of course. The last man standing is old boy he shot in the leg. And Hero just looks at him and says, Told you, nigga. And just walks away, leaving him there. And That's with crazy. that, this man killed a total of a whopping 85 people that night. 
in all the news it goes more into detail. Just alone, 34 of his kills was just the SWAT team. So that means 51 of them this was boom in the police station alone. And with that, bro just wiped out the entire police force. But was he Gosh. done? No. Because now it's time for this man's final act. The Shinjuku incident. So the literal next morning, this man hacks into all of the TVs and basically announces and says, Greetings, citizens bro, of Japan. Bro, now, this nigga. Hold on, bro. Bro, don't tell me this nigga finna muck everybody, bro. Don't tell me sweet, that nigga is finna muck everybody. Bro, that shit just clicked in my head, bro. Do this not tell tweaking. me. Cause this nigga Cause he can't kill tweaking. niggas through the screen, bro. This nigga's tweaking. Nah, this nigga tweaking. Bro, this no nigga tweaking. Way. Nah, I hope this not. This nigga bro. tweaking. I hope not, bro. This oh. nigga on time. I'm playing war on your country. And why is that, you may ask? Simple. Because me and my shorty cannot live in peace with all of you heathens. And right before this man gets off of the intercom, he states, And remember, no Russian. Now, if you know what that term means, no and Russian. you know who this is, then you know what's coming next. So obviously the citizens think nothing of it. They probably think this is a prank. Until this happens. Okay. Bodies start dropping. So panic just ensues. Nobody knows what the f*** is going on. Bodies are getting dropped left and right. So then you see these dudes in the alley. And they obviously call for help. Until the dude gets bumped through his phone. And that's when God. they end up figuring out. Hero is shooting them through their phone. So then he ended up calling the news anchor. So he was like, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. I have Hero Shishigami on the phone right now. Now, sir, you've done a very bad thing. Is there anything that you want to say to the public about the atrocities you Bow. committed? Shut up, nigga. Mm. Mm. Bro, shot the <laughs> oh, that... best friend ends up sending a telecom message to everybody to put your phone down. So everybody ends up dropping their phone. But this man, Hero, got on the big screen oh. and said, Dropping your phones won't save you. Now, let the party continue. And bro just starts unloading on everybody through the TV screens. This shit just got ridiculous. And bro just kept on unloading. He didn't stop until he got to 100. So the next day, this man does that was only a hundred people. Bro lifts his hands hands more than a hundred people. Everybody just starts looking in the air, just speechless. And then you see it a big ass plane comes down and crashes. We think it's controlling plane, but it's chopping planes. Oh, Oh, no. Bro, bro, nah, he killed more than 200, 200 niggas. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care, What bro. the fuck? And this wasn't the only one. This nigga dropped six of these bitches crashing in the middle of the city. This shit is just absurd at this point. But oh boy, now we gotta do some big math. I ain't no damn mathematician, but look, there gotta be at least 300 bodies on each plane. Times that whole by <laughs> six. This nigga just dropped off 1,800 bodies. You could easily round this bitch to 2,000 with the collateral damage. Nigga, like dog, he's the screw. A city. That's at least, at least at least 40k, 330k. Because this got 10 times worse than it already was. So after all this chaos, Hero ends up confronting Mr. Inuyashiki and states, Why are you helping these people? You're just like me. So what the fuck are you doing? And Mr. Inuyashiki says, Because I'm a hero, young blood. Now what does that say about you, youngin? And Hero starts crying and realizes, damn, looks like I'm the villain after all. So then he slaps this nigga in the chin, hugs him up in his cranium, and just starts shooting him. So Inu Yashiki well, we got alien for the alien. His daughter was in one of the buildings that got hit, but Hero was just chasing this man throughout the entire city. So the only way to stop this man was to, I kid you not, Drop a satellite on this nigga. So that's what he did. He dropped the satellite on the nigga, then ripped open his cranium, ripped off his arms, and just dropped him into an alley to make sure bro couldn't do no more shit. And that concludes the end of this man's atrocities. And with a whopping kill count of around an estimated 2,035 bodies, and let's be real, it could be more. Hero Shishigami submitted himself as one of anime's deadliest serial killers. Now, get this. After this man got his ass whooped, he was basically cooked. Bro couldn't do shit no more. He had no hands. So this man goes back to his best friend's house, looking like a doomer, and just tells him, Yo, you read that new One Piece yet? Her order was cooking this week. So bro read his last chapter of One Piece, went your toes out, went to go see Shorty for one more time, reflected on his life choices, 
and blew himself up on an asteroid to save the world. Yeah, I know, you're probably confused on the ending, but hey, I actually recommend go watching this anime. It's actually good as hell, but uh, this nigga out here really trying to have redeeming qualities. Nah, fuck that nigga, you killed a fucking man. For <laughs> <laughs> real, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, case closed. And that is our first installment of anime's deadliest serial killers. But anyways, man, hope y'all enjoyed it. Man, this shit was insane. So I'll finally be over there between bits now. But until then, I'm out this hub. I cannot believe what the fuck I just watched. That shit was so that nigga not even the main character. I can't even believe what the fuck I just watched. Bro, that nigga was just going around just popping shit. That nigga heard a dog bark and stepped back and killed a nigga. Walk into that, that house, nigga killed, killed the baby. The mom, killed the dad. That nigga was baby. playing killed ring. two kids playing. Play ring around the roses to see who's house. Dropping go planes on a city, killing niggas through TV screens. Bro, that TV screen was, I think that was the most. Yeah, that shit had bro. me. I'm on like, call for, bro. yo, nigga can shoot through a screen, nigga. That's actually insane, bro. It's like you're not safe, bro. That nigga can. Bro, ain't no way he only killed 100 people, bro. Yeah. Nigga. Nah, he at least rounded up. He at least racked up a, uh, at least a K. <laughs> yeah, that, a K or no more, bro. Through that incident alone. Nigga. This is Multiple screens. Just bow, bow. Bro, this is the type of anime that I can say, bro, nothing really made sense, bro. <laughs> like, and then when he was no dropping sense, planes, bro. bro. Nigga, don't plane, bro. Bro, that at least... Like I said, 300 niggas on a plane. And on top of that, he's crashing it into he motherfuckers. Into oh, yeah. Crashing into buildings. That probably That's happened. at least good 10,000, bro. Yeah, that nigga did damage. 10, 20,000, bro. Nigga, just hey. the screen alone, man. That shit's crazy. Yeah. That shit is insane. Damn. Bro, I was not expecting this shit at all, but I had never seen... I don't think I've seen an anime like this. Bro, oh. this one is different. This shit hit different. I ain't gonna lie. Shooting a nigga through the screen is crazy as fuck, bro. Like, nigga, how do you build a bullet through a screen and then kill it? <laughs> shoot like, that shit. That shit don't make no fucking sense, bro. Nigga, I thought Jujutsu was crazy, nigga. This nigga just... BAH! Oh, you got a daughter? Ha ha. BAH! Nigga, oh, nah, I think the most fucked up shit is when he killed the dad and drowned the son. Yeah, yeah the that was the body. first shit that got I him. think that was the most... Fucked up shit. Shot the baby in blood, he, man. bro. He shot the baby, but we didn't we didn't see the baby die. But it was just so fucked up. He shot the dad, and yeah. the dad's dead body drowned the son. That was, yeah, that was so fucked up to me. I was like, what? Then popped the. I daughter. couldn't believe that shit. Popped the wife, bro. Nah, like, that the first kills he racked up was some of the most fucked up. <laughs> yeah, bro. That nigga's too he asked that nigga, out. "What's your favorite anime manga?" Like, that nigga said, "Yo." You in the wrong house? Nah, you in the wrong house, nigga. Yeah. Bah! No, you in the wrong house. Put four more in your back, nigga. Bah, 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 yeah, bah. that was some brutal shit. That's I don't care what nobody says. I don't know why he didn't kill his friend, bro. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Hey, man, but anyway, man, that'll be it for today's video, man. Uh, let us know y'all opinion in the comment section, man. Let us so, know, like, what y'all think about this shit, man. This shit wild or this not. This shit is Let absolutely. Know. This shit is insane, bro. Yeah, but we hope you guys enjoy it. And please so, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new. God loves you. God bless you. And we'll see you out of here.